What's up, geeks and gamers? It's the Linkzilla coming at you with another video. Welcome back to God of War. We are heading into the last ten sections of Pandora's Temple. Now, basically speaking, this was actually a bit of a cakewalk on hard modes, but very hard mode, God mode, has proved to be more of a challenge, so I probably won't be getting through this all that easily. <laughs> it's probably going to take a long while. We are basically going into what should be the last three episodes of God of War. I will do this section, and then the next world after I have Pandora's box, and then on to the final battle. I don't even need to do this. What am I doing this for? Uh, Finally, now where are the Cyclopses? Destroy the coffins. We're heading in to the Architect's Tomb. I'm just gonna move you over here so that you'll be ready for when I need you. There is a method to my madness, because I've been here before, recently. I know that hundreds, of, if not thousands of other people, hundreds of thousands of other people have been here before me. Don't know if they have good memories or not, because they probably haven't been here in a few years. I know that there are people who have made walkthroughs for this game online. I... What am I trying to prove? And I'm gonna open up that gate, and there's gonna be some Legionnaire captains that attack me. The last time I was here, I beat them, fighting them one at a time using the yo-yo technique. Oh well, if it's not Baruch, don't fix it! Who's next? I kind of wish that you could- there we go. I kind of wish that you could taunt and like summon certain opponents. Like if you know that like there's someone waiting for you around the corner and you don't want to walk into an obvious trap. I hope you guys don't mind the background noise, I'm also eating dinner at this time. And look at that, it's uh, 12.30 at, mid at night. <laughs> I don't know why, I just don't have healthy eating schedules. And I don't have eat healthy eating habits either. <laughs> I need to remember this from God of War 2, because these guys are so infuriating in God of War 2, but you can't basically do this in God of War 2, because I remember specifically fighting one of these guys in a room with a spiked floor on a time limit. Okay, that was all four of them, right? I think we could use some Cyclopses, or maybe some Cerberus Breeders. Huh? Huh? Bingo! Wait, I didn't open the health chest. I love unlimited magic. That's the one thing that the God of War, that God of War 2 has on God of War 1. Free play, or bonus play. Basically like starting out a game with like at maximum power from the previous playthroughs. Open up! I want in. 
Use your shoulder, Kratos. Oh, my shoulder! Oh no, a broken ladder. Whatever will I do? You know, I'm just now realizing that I'm gonna have to fight, I think, like, three more Cyclopses once I go down, so... Really did waste Wrath of the Gods, didn't I? <laughs> rage of the Gods, actually. Ah, uh, Wrath, Rage, they're synonymous. Right? Like, uh... Yeah, I know the English language. They are synonymous. Why did I second-guess myself? You see, I always do that. I always second-guess myself, and it just leads to the most appalling situations. Right. You know, I'm really beginning to wonder, how exactly did they build all this with Bronze Age technology? Alright, let's get you back up here. that down there, and hey, did I not destroy that stuff? Hmm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> stick is not cooperating. Had to say something, had to tell something similar to my doctor on my last appointment. Okay, now it's working. I just took a little blue pill and now it works fine. Backing you up. I love that when you rank up combos, you get more and more blood orbs. You know, they're officially called red orbs, not blood orbs, so I really wonder why I started calling them that, and I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Sick of boys. Defend my honor. Good work, men. Show offs. Oh, I almost had it. Coffins in an underground cavern. So he literally buried these things. <sighs> Poor Pathos. And we're about to see the culmination of his madness. Sad, strange little man. And he has my pity. Huh. 
I should have about 3,000 blood orbs. Yep. Sounds like I'm walking into a battle. That can't be. See? There's nothing here. Don Quixote fought more than this. Right. Now comes the part that should prove to enrage me. A race against the clock. An unfair shifting platform. Right. We are going to save everything. Mom, Dad, I can explain everything. Move! No! Oh, I, why did I hesitate? Why didn't I just go for it? We made it! It's Pathos Verdes himself. And one other. This is literally the saddest thing about all of this. So, I'm going to build up to it. We're instead going to look at some sketches. You know, it's amazing going through this entire place and realizing that you've been through all those traps. You've seen everything. There's that construction lever outside. There's Atlas. Sketches of the many traps that fill Pandora's temple. At the bottom of each sketch is the name Pathos Verdes III. Well, let's see here. The note reads, Tried to stop me. She said the gods were fools. That I was a fool. She may be right, but they came to me. They believed in me. She had to be stopped. She gave me no choice. But now they're gone. My entire family. I can't go on. This is his wife. He stabbed her to death. Her blood is still pooled on this table, despite the fact that her corpse is fairly rotten. Gods take so much and they give nothing. They think that the gift of life is more than enough for what they do to us mortals, but they never considered that existence under their rule is not a gift, it's a curse. Sorry, Pathos. You are the last key. I wonder if he planned it out this way, planned that his own skull would be the final key. Dude, looks like a lady, almost. Hey, Pathos, you okay with me taking your head, right? Okay, thanks. He stabbed himself, you see that? Quite frankly, there are times throughout my day where I wish I could rip someone's head off. And now we move on to the final section of Pandora's Temple. The Temple of the Gods. You know, I really do have to wonder about a lot of the mythology of this- of these games. 
basically speaking, Pandora's box was created, was crafted, in order to hold all the evils of the entire world. In the continuity of this game, all the evils that are being contained are the evils that were unleashed in those worlds, created by the Great War. So, basically, the war created a whole bunch of evil. <laughs> basically speaking, at that time when the gods had basically won, I should think that there were you no know, humans around, because Zeus is apparently attributed to creating mankind and whatnot. And, uh, well, basically speaking, Hephaestus crafted Pandora's box, but then when he realized that the key, that hiding it in the flame of Olympus wouldn't, would mean that someone would have to kill Pandora in order to get it open, in order to retrieve it, well, he decided that it would be better to, like, hide the box in a massive temple filled with tricks and traps strapped to the back of Kronos. And so the gods commissioned Pathos Virtus III in order to build it, so... I don't know. Maybe at that time, Zeus could have created mankind, but I just don't really know. Atlas claims that mankind existed during the Great War, but I don't know, the whole thing is screwy. It kind of makes it seem like he's trying to revise history in order to make the Titans look better than the gods, because, well, let's be frank, who wouldn't do that? But still, quite frankly, humanity is better off without either of them. Let's not pick the lesser of two evils. Spiral staircases, you gotta love them. And here we are, the final challenge of Pandora's Temple. When I cross the, to the end of this room, I will have Pandora's box. And I am going into this without any magic, and without Wrath of the Rage of the Gods. Which means I am going to fail, and there is nothing that I can do about it. Hades. Zeus. Poseidon. <laughs> and no, I'm not making a mistake when I pronounce it like that, I'm intentionally making a joke. This puzzle isn't exactly hard, but it is tricky and tedious because there's literally, there are very few safe places to stand. See? And I can't just jump up onto that platform because, well, watch what happens. See that? That's a flamethrower. Literally speaking, if I stay on the platform for too long, I get blasted. I gotta avoid these arrows. Oh, no, 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 Kratos! I need some cover. Go deal with the archers. It should just be the harpies. No, 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 Kratos! No. I got pretty far.
Oh, that was a thing. Okay. Now this mural right here is a point of contention with me. It shows that maybe they were planning to take the series in that direction, but I still disagree with it, so just, just take a look. It is an image of man battling Zeus himself. It is an image of the future. That's basically supposed to allude to the idea that one day Kratos is going to lead the charge of mankind against the gods, but I honestly think that that's just that a rebellious attitude against basically indomitable and despicable despots like any form, any deity that's ever existed across any religion is inevitable at some point, but... I kind of would have liked it if Kratos, like, had, I don't know, palled around with the Olympians for a bit longer, been the god of war, gone to other places, and basically been, like, the assassin-slash-attack dog of the Olympian pantheon, getting rid of all the other pantheons so that they could basically rule the world uncontested. Because, I mean, seriously, like, the new game basically confirms that other mythologies are legit, so... And hell, God of War 2 has an easter egg to, to Judaism. No, actually Christianity. So, anyways, I finally made it here. On God Mode, I go to claim my prize. Hey boys, I made it. You know, anybody who's played Final Fantasy X doesn't uh, Hades, with his overall demonic feature and pose and, well, length, kind of remind anyone else of Animus? You know, that Aeon that you can summon? Pretty creepy shit, right? Pandora's box. It's mine. Kratos, your quest is at an end. You are the first mortal to ever reach Pandora's box. There is still time to save Athens. You must bring the box back to my city and use it to kill Ares. Return to Athens, Kratos. Return and save my city. How am I going to get this thing all the way across the desert? And hold on, I need to check something. You know, I'm going to juice up on health first because... You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Kratos. You cannot defeat Ares without it. Kratos, Where's the health chest? You cannot leave the temple without Pandora's box. Where's the health Athens chest? Depends on it. There was a health chest right here when I came in and I intentionally left it unopened specifically for this. Oh my god. The book reads, <laughs> It would be cool if, like, the book changed, like, uh, a hidden page has revealed itself. Congratulations, warrior. You are the only person to have ever survived Pandora's Temple. Speaking of surviving Pandora's Temple, you remember what the gatekeeper told us at the very beginning? About how people who die in this temple, their bodies get recycled to be used as enemies within the temple? Well, this is a point of contention with me. Yeah, pushing it's not gonna work. Wait, kicking it's not gonna work, so we're just gonna have to do this straight. Really love the design on Pandora's box, too. Even though it's supposed to be a jar. And smaller, but... This is an adaptation of Greek After mythology. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy 
the god of war. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. This was a great shocker to me when I was a kid. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even His spine death, is completely destroyed. The memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? And now we know A cruel the truth. trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how oh, they were left in Sparta. This was the dumbest you thing that Harry's been doing. All I'd hoped you'd be Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In end, in death, he had failed. All of it was shocking of and great storytelling, stilling procedure. Kratos's life faded, and but this is all fair game for heroes of Greek mythology. Of you always have to make a journey to the underworld. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below. Notice how people are falling in. I think that's basically because the ferryman is but dead. Kratos had no intention of resting yet. There's no one to ferry them to the other to side live, now. To return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You will drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. Ah! I didn't have to do that. <laughs> You again? No. That guy is basically like, we're not really supposed to feel sorry for him. He's basically just a running joke of this franchise, but <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wish we kind of like had a, more of an excuse for being a dick to him. And yep, I am absolutely just so close to death, but thank you. It looks like hell is going to be fair. The path of Hades. Now... There's so much that I want to talk about. That cutscene just revealed just so much, didn't it? A lot of people basically, like, say that Kratos killed his family in cold blood. Well, that's not exactly what happened. Kratos went into that temple expecting to basically kill his enemies and whatnot. He had no idea that his family was in there. He was literally tricked by the god who was manipulating him the entire time. Literally speaking, it's not a crime to be a victim of manipulation. <laughs> now, uh, in regards to other things, you remember how I mentioned that the gatekeeper said that, like, uh, the people who die inside the temple are basically recycled to be used as enemies inside the temple? I really wonder if, like, the temple no longer has a purpose now that the box is gone, but I really do wonder if, like... The creatures inside the temple will remain, or if they'll finally be laid to rest. But consider the fact that Kratos did die inside the temple, and look at exactly what happened. He was basically pinned to a wall. 
you know, kind of like those uh, insect board projects that you had to do for school. You had to basically collect a whole bunch of insects, freeze them, and then pin them to a board or whatever. Yeah, he's basically just totaled. His torso is absolutely destroyed. We don't actually see his real body being dragged down to the underworld. I assume that whenever you die in Greek mythology, you get taken down to the underworld and you get kind of a new body. Especially since there like was that myth about the one guy who tried to cheat Hades, that guy who like uh, push who is condemned to push the boulder up the hill endlessly. I forget what his name is, his name completely escapes me, but his plan in order to cheat death was he told his wife not to bury him, and then when he died and went down to the underworld, he's like, Lord Hades, my wife has not buried me. Allow me to go to her and tell her to bury me so I can finally be at rest. And Hades is like, yeah, whatever, just go. So anyway, he goes back up to the surface world, and... Basically, he tries to get away with being undead. He tries to basically, like, have his life back, try to live with his wife, despite the fact that he's still not buried. So he's dead, but he's not buried, but he escaped the underworld. So, <laughs> Hades, uh, Hades doesn't take kindly to people who try to, uh, circumvent his will. Yeah, so that's basically why the guy was dragged back down into the abyss and basically forced to push the rock up the hill endlessly. And once the boulder gets to the top of the hill, it always rolls back down. His torment is everlasting. So, anyways, my point of the matter is, it does kind of seem like you have two different bodies. You have a body, like, on the surface world, and then you have a body in the underworld. So... Following this train of logic, Kratos' dead body is still up there in Pandora's temple, I should think. Will it eventually be recycled by the Harpies, and will it become a monster inside Pandora's box? <laughs> the last person that I mentioned this to made a funny comment about how it would be great if the game developer suddenly realized that and used that as a plot point in a future game, because that would really be the ultimate, wouldn't it? Kratos having to face himself, a monster version of himself that basically was left behind. <laughs> Even though that's technically a theme of the entire franchise, as well as something that happens in this game, but I don't know. Anyways, let me just open up these chests. <sighs> that feels good. Back at full power at last. Well, I'm going to save it right here, and this is where we're going to call it a night. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a comment on the comment section below. i got to tell you, my memory of going through Hades on hard mode is still fresh in my mind. A lot of falling. Like, the hardest challenge of this game isn't necessarily the enemies, it's the platforming. So, <laughs> there's going to be one particular level where I'm going to climb, and I'm going to fall. And I'm going to fall a lot. Hopefully you guys won't see any of the falling, because I want to get through it without freaking dying. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment on the comment section below. Be sure to like and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date on more God of War coming your way in the future, then just smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!